Welcome to the NatFL channel. Former Miami Dolphins cornerback Vontae Davis once up and retired at halftime of an NFL game, declaring that football is a young man's game. And as the Miami Dolphins prepare to vet a potential contract standoff with cornerback Xavier Howard, who is expected to ask for a new contract this offseason after posting the NFL's first double-digit interception season in over a decade, they'd be wise to remember the final words of one of their former first-round draft selections from the 2000s. Because Xavier Howard is a young man in the scale of normal, everyday life. But from the perspective of an NFL cornerback, he's slowly creeping towards the dreaded age of 30, where so many great cornerbacks have seen their play fall off in the past. Howard will have two more seasons, 2021 and 2022, before turning 30 years old, meaning that any contract extension or restructure the Dolphins grant him if they want him to be a long-term piece of the puzzle will see Howard cross over the 30-year age barrier midway through the contract. From Howard's perspective, pushing for a new deal makes sense, it may be now or never for another big money contract. But from the Dolphins' perspective, they've already locked him into a long-term contract that was signed less than two years ago on a deal that was expected to carry him through the rest of his physical prime. This is a potential unplanned detour, one that could end up consuming another $5.8m against Miami's already bloated spending commitments in the secondary. And with age considerations for Howard plus a slew of knee injuries, the Dolphins would be well within their rights to be skeptical that Howard can be an exception to the rule with cornerback play age the 300-year age wall. Some corners, like Richard Sherman, post successful campaigns after the age of 30. Sherman's 2019 campaign with San Francisco was brilliant and he allowed just 368 yards in coverage that season with an opposing passer rating of 63.0 for the season. But betting on your player being an exception to the rule and plenty exist is a dangerous game. So Miami, who already has Howard signed through 2024 when he will be 31 years old, must ask if an unquestioned raise is in the cards, or does the team rework the end of the contract, add a year and push more money into the here and now? Or, alternatively, do nothing. Or, as another alternative, gauge the market for Howard if he's persistent about playing on a new contract. But as Miami weighs out their options, Howard's age is not something to be glossed over. What if Howard overcomes the slew of early career knee injuries and continues to play at a high pace well beyond the age of 30? Then keeping him and appeasing to his desire for a contract demands is a no-brainer. But then again, what if he doesn't? What if Miami concedes the deal and Howard plays at a high level again in 2021 before succumbing to the wear and tear on his body, as so many other great cornerbacks have? So Miami must, amid the expected demands of a new contract, use all of the information available to make the best decision possible for the organization's bid for long-term success. And whatever decision they make will speak volumes of how they perceive Howard's longevity.